This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. A damp, soggy day, sad to have to report, here at the Zignali Duna Park in the city of Dortmund. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Schalke. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. And he really is danger personified. But in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see the stats. It's going to be a real test for that back line today to keep him quiet. They switch off for a minute, he'll be in, it'll punish you. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Well, there's no great mystery, is there? We know normally how they're going to play, and it's all about applying as much pressure as possible. Lee, can we anticipate seeing more of the same today? Yeah, absolutely, Derek. If you're really good at something, then why not? They're very good at this. All the team members have bought into this style of play. One player slacks off and it all falls apart, though. And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. An exciting 90 minutes in prospect. It's Borussia Dortmund who get things going. Couldn't keep it. Kakere. All the way through to the keeper then. And he's held it easily, Burki. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. So for Schalke, certainly a difficult fixture last time out and a draw against Leipzig. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, he was so sharp, the goalkeeper there, wasn't he? What a wonderful save. Played into the centre of the box. And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to put him off. Under some pressure. Brandt. Well, here's the table. And you've got to say, a bit of a damp squib for Schalke so far. Not what their fans were hoping for or expecting. Well, it just appears to be so many... He's in with a chance. Using his strength to good effect. Delaney. Now Witzel. Jaden Sancho. Can he take advantage? Tremendous block. Well, flinging himself at the ball. He's driven in the corner. Fruitful looking attack. And the ruling is offside here. Kakere. And here's Neuhaus. Almada. Jeremy Doku. Florian Neuhaus. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. A change to the scoreline I'm hearing at the Bay Arena. A goal there, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Eintracht Frankfurt. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Florian Neuhaus. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Maxence Kakere. 
Almada. No, high quality defending. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Can he put them in front? Save, but still a chance. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp but the second time of asking, but first time around, it was a good deal more complicated. Oh, it was a fabulous save initially. He gets the ball in the end with great relief. And given away by Jotland. Kakere. And take it away. He won the ball. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. It should be. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Maxence Kakere. Almada. Can he get them the lead? And a goal! Schalke draw first blood in the derby. A real jolt to the home fans. Not what they were expecting. Well, here's the replay, and the keeper knows that near post should be his. But he left a gap, and he got punished. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. Well, Dortmund get the ball moving again. That goal certainly should shake them up a bit. Axel Witzel. Jaden Sancho. Witzel. Delaney. Holland. Brandt with it. Oh, good vision. And a classic example of how to intercept. Florian Neuhaus. Tavares. Almada. Maxence Kakere. Perfect challenge. Brandt. Trailing as they are, what will be the thinking in the camp as you see it, Lee? Well, this Dortmund side just needs to up the tempo a little bit more in the second half. Put a bit more pressure on the opposition. They've done reasonably well in this first half. The team's nearly clicking, but it's just not quite there. Let's go to Alan McAnally now, because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Hoffenheim game. Alan. It's a second goal for Hoffenheim. 41 minutes played. 2-1. Cheers again, Alan. Delaney. Pongracic. On to Holland. Torgan Azar. Can they take advantage? Well, he really read that brilliantly. And there it is, the half time whistle. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Almada. A 
And here's Neuhaus. Nuno Tavares. Kakere. Jeremy Doku. Maxence Kakere. I understand there's been a goal in the Hertha game. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a second goal for Hertha. 46 minutes played. 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Jaden Sancho. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Good defending. Almada. Oh, he's given it away. He's using his strength to good effect. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. And he's clear his lines. Delaney. Now Witzel. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, his angles were all right. His reactions were superb. Great goalkeeping. Corner kick played in. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. He must favour the cross. Jaden Sancho. Witzel. Can he do it? Oh, that's an awful finish. And the goalkeeper could do nothing but hang on to it. Easy save for the keeper. Absolutely terrible finishing from the attacker. Almada. Klosterman. Jeremy Doku. And given away by Schalke. Holland. Good physical play. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Couldn't keep it. Well, far from textbook defending. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. But it can't get all the way through. He succeeds in clearing it. Schalke, possession stats not too great, to be fair. But they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. So, 20 minutes to go. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. have been fluttering but he didn't show it a goal from the spot we'll see it again here Derek looks easy doesn't it I can tell you it isn't I'm telling you now well let's take another look at that goal shall we So 2-0 now. Jaden Sancho. Axel Witzel. 
Pongracic. 15 minutes remaining. There's been a goal at the pre-zero arena. Let's hear about the goal from Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Hoffenheim. 77 minutes played, 4-1. Oh, in with a chance! A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Delaney. Jaden Sancho. Strong but fair tackle. Florian Neuhaus. Adeyemi. There to win it back. Or can they be creative from here? Teammate available and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Karim Adeyemi. And news of a goal at the Bay Arena. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bayer Leverkusen. Five minutes remain. 1-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Excellent ball over the top. A matter of keeping his composure. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Almada. Moussa Diaby. Adeyemi. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And now waiting to pounce. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. And this is turning into something of a rout, 4-0. And that is that, the referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game, and there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical, and exciting to watch for sure.